Okay, we've got our skulls done, the basic skulls. Today we're going to do the horns. Now on this one here, uh, you're just going to sort of have to eyeball this. The best thing to do is uh, get you a photograph off the uh, internet to look at it. We want to get the forward slope of the horns and want to definitely get a good curve. You don't want them coming out like this. You want this to come and curve back. And you got a little latitude. This is about as gentle a slope as you could have, but you could increase it even a little bit by bringing the points of these horns in a little more. Because as the bull grows older, his horns curve in more. Okay? So I've got me a piece of wood here. This is about two inches thick. Well, like actually it's about an inch and three quarters. I just got out of the scrap pile. I'm just going to pencil in my horn here. I should be able just to cut this once and then get a couple horns out of it by cutting it in two. That'll work. I made it a little larger than I, know, than I need. And then I'll cut that out and just slice it in two right there. Okay. Okay, I cut out my horns and I sliced them in two. So there now I've got my two horns. So let's just take this one. And that looks pretty good right there. Now, <clears throat> a little hint. Before we do anything, I'm going to mark me a little spot right there. And a little spot right there. And I'm going to drill me a little hole here. And I'm not going to use the drill, I'm going to use my Dremel with a little uh, a a Dremel uh, bit with an 8 inch, eighth, 1 8 inch uh, diameter shaft because I want 1 8 inch to match a dowel, wooden dowel, okay? So I'm going to do that now and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I got my holes drilled here. Maybe I should have explained this a little bit better. Uh, First off, make sure your grain is running up and down here, like that. You don't want it running this way, because that would make this area out here real fragile. By having it run up and down, it doesn't really get fragile until it gets back to about right there. And that's not going to break because it's too thick. And we'll, by the time we get through carving, we're just about be even up here at the top with the grain so that'll you know you don't have to worry about it breaking really the only fragile part on this will be these posts right here now i took uh, that i did use my little dremel with the 1 8 inch shaft to drill another hole here about oh i guess it's about 3 6 inches deep on each side to match the corresponding holes to this one here now the reason I did a, used a Dremel instead of a drill is a Dremel, it will, if you used a drill, you would probably split this out right here. Because that drill, it only has uh, two grinding surfaces, so as it turned around there, it would probably grab in there because there's so little material here and bust this all to pieces. And we don't want that. Probably wouldn't have done it here, but uh, just to be on the safe side, I went and did it here too. A Dremel has a lot of cutting surfaces, even though this burnt, it, you know, that's okay, that's neither here nor there. Uh, because the Dremel has a lot of, bit has a lot of cutting surfaces, it won't do that. Okay, so now we've got that done. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and whittle these down. You can see it already, you can already see what's going to happen here once we get these cut down. So I'm going to go ahead and whittle these down. And if, uh, take a look at the skull here. You can see that these horns are really pretty massive. Let's take the cap off here. They are pretty big. So this should just by knocking off the corners here and shaping it just a little. Yep, there's the telephone. Just by uh, taking off the corners here and shaping this, you know, not really whittling too much off, should give us just about the right size for our horn. All right? Okay. 
Okay, so that's what I'm going to do right now. As soon as I get my glove on. So just remembering where your grain, how your grain runs. Cutting this out should be a pretty easy thing to do. There's going to be one tricky, tricky area that you'll have to consider when you're doing this. That noise in the background is an REC truck or crew leaving after just cutting down a big tree which hung over our electric line. See how the point, the tip, goes off center of the main part of the horn here? We we'll put a couple legs on that, clean it out, and give you a good beer mug there, couldn't you? Anyway, that's what you're going to have to consider as you're doing each horn, because the one horn will be opposite of the other one. There, see how one goes one way and the other goes the other way. Right now we're just rounding this sucker off. Making sure I got this rounded. So we'll work on this side first. So on this side, the horn kind of goes off in this direction up here. So I'm just going to draw a little line on there. Just to show me which way it's going. Right here is the break-even point. I can carve this way, this way, but over on this side I have to go that way or I'm not going to. But then on the back side it's just the opposite. See, I can carve that part of that right there, but then I'm going to have to turn it around here to take that out the rest of the way. Otherwise I'm going to split it out.
take a look here. Looks pretty good, pretty good. Now, I want this post. I want this post to go up into this piece just a little bit to hide the junction to look make it look like it goes continues on up into the horn. So first off, I'm going to clean this edge up. follow me over where my Dremel is, I'll show you how we're going to do that. Okay, here's the Dremel I use to drill my hole. So, uh, being as I want to grind this out a little, I'm going to drill this a, a little bit deeper. There's how deep it is now. It's not very deep at all. It's only maybe, oh, I don't know, quarter inch. One eighth of an inch now, being as I carved a little away. So, I'm going to drill it a little deeper. thumb guard off and make it a little easier. Alright, now I'm going to change bits. And uh, remember when we did the eyes, this is the bit we used for that, so I'm just going to use it. that will just about do it. So we'll go back over to the carving station. Okay, so what I'm going to do first here is just uh, kind of slope this out here. Don't make it too thin. when you don't watch out for the grain. See how that bumped off of there? This is, this is fragile up here. And I'm going to fix that in just a second. Just see what we got. Here's my one eighth inch dowel. And that just fits right in there. Okay. So then I'm going to cut it off about right there. Skull. 
see it tips forward. So we're just going to tip ours forward too till it's about right there, about like that. And there you go. Now if we want, we can go ahead and whittle these down, this edge here, down a little bit more. It does come down here a little bit far on this side here. So I'll fine tune that. But right now, what I want to do, I think I'll just leave that in there. Get my super glue. And I'm going to glue this permanently. We flood that area right there. Because I want to reinforce this part here too. And that'll do that. That'll set that off. And then I'm going to soak this part up here. Yeah, I just soaked right in there. Should come out the other side like that. Let me just help it along here by putting some more up here. Soaked in good, just give it a little squirt like that. Now it'll go off and that'll make that good and solid. Okay, so now you just do the same on the other horn. Just remember though, say putting this horn, if you don't allow for the difference in the curvature, you're just not going to hit it correctly. As, as it's supposed to be. See, this just looks much more correct than the other way. And that's a pretty slick looking skull. It will be once we get that other horn on. But like I say, it's a little heavy here, but we're going to fix that. Okay? Pretty good. Let's just see how far we go in there. And I can see that I'm hitting on my post right there. Shave all these corners off. Because the bottom of my hole on the horn is rounded. So let me go down in a little farther. Actually, it's not the post so much as it is that dowel rod. So I'm going to go drill this hole just a little bit deeper. Okay, I drilled my hole a little larger, a little deeper. So we fit it together now and we get a real good 
good match up there. So once she's painted, you're not going to be able to see that seam down in there because this is going to be black and the shadow is even going to disappear once it's black. But right now we don't want to do anything with this other than sand it here in a bit. We just want to leave that alone and go ahead now and whittle our other one. Okay? So I'm going to do that and then we'll come back and wrap this video up. Okay, I've got my other horn carved here. i got the in soaked in glue. i got my post glued in there. So now we just put her on there for a test fit. Line up my horns. My God, she looks pretty good. I think. So that does all the carving on this one. So in the next video, we'll do a little burning and then we'll paint it and then we'll be through. So until next time, I'll talk to you later.